Hey everyone, how are you doing? So this is my review for the updated Jodi Aries mugshot where she looks like she is pissed off. She looks really upset um, versus the first mugshot of her when she first got arrested back in 2008 and for murdering her um, boyfriend Travis Alexander. Um, so Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, so the only mugshot I found was on this website here, so, so it's Jodi Arias looks like she's about to break out in tears in her latest mugshot. Well, of course, she's convicted, um, life in prison, even though, um, in the final sentencing, everyone wanted her to have, especially Alexander's, uh, um, his family wanted um, a death um, sentence, but unfortunately, she didn't get that because of one jury. Um, I don't really think that they should do that to anyone. I think that, you know, um, I think the person should sit in jail and realize what they have done. I think that um, it's unfortunate. She's so. Like, like, even though she said that she, like, she, it was so interesting in court where she said that, um, she finally said, oh, I didn't murder him, but it felt like she was forced to say that, and she makes herself look like a victim. I know that in the beginning I said she's innocent, but as I was watching the court and everything, and I realized all the evidence, you know, who else? would have killed him, of course she did, and it's unfortunate, but anyways, um, but again, we don't really know the whole story, she could have been defending herself, um, there could have been a lot of possibilities, um, again, uh, she could have been a domestic violence victim, where he would have, you know, he probably emotionally, because domestic violence is not just physical, it can be also emotional, if she could have emotional issues, which I do, uh, well, I think that is true. I know a lot of people can say, well, he also um, is a domestic violence victim, and I agree. I think it goes both ways. Um, I don't think it's just, like, one-sided. I think that the relationship isn't healthy on both sides. But, um, um, yeah, so she is in jail, and that's good, because why would you want a murderer to walk around society so they can do it again to someone else? Because it could happen um, for someone to murder someone and then walk out or have like freedom after. It's crazy. And I don't really understand why his family was upset. Because, you know, she's going to go to jail for life. She's not going to come out. And even if she did, what? She's going to be like 80. Um, she's going to be really old, and who knows, not that many people would live that long. So, um, I will link up more information in the description for you guys to see her updated mug shot. Um, which is way better, because I cannot believe that whoever took her first uh, mug shot, why would you let her smile, like, when I take my pass, like, if I take my passport, photos or anything like that, they even tell me right away, please don't smile, and I can't believe that, like, her first one shot, she smiled, that was crazy, whoever took that, I wonder who took that, because they can get in trouble, like, you should tell them not to smile, but overall, um, it was an interesting case, um, I think everyone, even the lawyers, did an excellent job, even Travis's lawyer, I think he did an awesome job, and I think the family did win because she is in jail. Because it could have been like, you know, sometimes some people walk away and they actually get freedom and get away with this. So she did not get away with this. She is in jail. Um, but, um, oh, I, the death sentence. I think that's like an easy way out. I think that, um, what's the point of having that? Like, I don't get it. Anyways, so. I don't think his family should be crying or getting upset over that because they didn't get what they wanted. 
what you did because she's in jail. Um, yeah, so it's not like she's going to have a nice life if she's in jail. So again, feel free to leave a comment. And thanks again for watching. And um, it's really cool. I, so a lot of people have said on the site that she looks like she's like 40 years old. She is like, I don't know, 34, so she's going to be in like a couple years. But that's what happens when you go through all that. Your face will age drastically. Um, yeah, so, so interesting that her first smudge shot, her hair is like a light brown color, and then now it's like a dark, dark brown. So I don't know how they get their hair done there, but it's just interesting. It also looks like in her second mug shot, she's like wearing makeup. So, I don't know, it's just, it's really different, so, anyways, so, again, I will link up that photo for you guys so you can take a look, and this is such an interesting case. Anyways, so, you can check me out on Twitter or Google+. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day, bye.